I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The online version is coming soon and I want to practice making quick decisions. You have to make a decision in two minutes online or the game will toss a tile. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. We're going to say we're the dealer, so we're going to get 28 tiles each time. We'll do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. The goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. Okay, here we have one, two, one, two, five, nine, seven. I think probably, let's see, what could we do here? No, we have no flowers. I think I would play maybe one, two, three, four consecutive run. One, two, three, four consecutive run, five, seven, nine, big odds. Okay, one, two, three, four consecutive run. Hold every one, two, three, four until you run out of discards. Then pick a hand. If I had to pick a hand, I might play one, two, one, two pungs but we have no flowers. So I would hold every consecutive run around the range of four tiles in a sequence around my multiples. Then down here, I would play five, seven, nine. We could maybe play five, seven, nine knitted, five, seven, nine knitted where the seven and the green match. So I would definitely hold the dragons five, seven, nine. Up here, I might even hold those because we could potentially play a year hand here. I would discard these first. Consecutive run, one, two, three, four, or year. And then down here, five, seven, nine. Now we can't keep all of them, but we can get rid of these first gather. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write sprint one and what you would do. And we'll go on to sprint two. Okay, we have a pair of flowers, northeast, south, pair of threes with cracks, pair of threes, pair of sevens, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you know what I might do? Six, seven, eight pair hand. And then down here, like numbers with threes. Joker bait. Six, seven, eight pair hand with news. Like numbers with threes. Joker bait. That would leave nine discards. That's what I would do here. Seems like a lot of discards, but we have a joker to help with our threes. 
And all we need here are wins. We have pairs. Six, seven, eight. We just need news. If you would do something different here, let me know. That's what I would do. Oh, 2468 there. Still, I think this is what I would do. Okay, we're going to go on to the last one. here we have northeast red white green dragon I wonder if we have like numbers in here we have all the nines okay like numbers with nines I would just hold them all and then down here three four three four five six consecutive run three four Five, six, three, four, three, four with flowers. Pung hand, maybe, if we can get flowers. But I would hold all three, four, five, six until I ran out of discards. Three, four, five, six. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. If I had to pick a hand, maybe three, four, three, four concealed pung hand with flowers, which we have a gap. So that would take work. And then up here, like numbers with nines. Discard those first. This will take work. But we've got some jokers that can help. Let's see how things went with time. The goal of this exercise is to train yourself to identify the strengths of your hands early. Gather the tiles that you know you will need to support those strengths and then separate the wheat from the chaff. Discard a tile and then arrange your tiles. Take the time you need there, not up front, because when you get up to that two minute timer, if you don't discard a tile, the game will do it for you and it could potentially discard something you need. You take the first step. Discard a towel you know you don't need and then arrange thereafter. Let's see how I did with timing. Sprint one, one minute 36. Sprint two, one minute 28. Sprint three, one minute 50. Some of those hands were gonna take some work. So you wanna train yourself to identify those strengths and have as few discards as possible. Eight or fewer is best. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of Siamese sprints for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, May all your picks be keepers.